you know. Hey, I took out the lock at least. All right. My iron is hot. I got the wax, everything. Let's see if I can get this to look not so dark, but I'll try. Okay. Now, let me get on and see. <laughs> see if I can. First, there. Right. Okay. Okay. We did it. Okay, we did it. What a mess. Yep, I have been in my craft room all day and in my pajamas. <laughs> and I've been making stuff. I don't know why my screen looks like that. I don't know, anyways. Okay, this is for next. All right. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm Kelly Snow. And I've been going crazy with this sewing theme because I love making sewing stuff. It's just fun. I don't know. I love sewing. Okay. So here's my wax pellets. We've been making stuff all day. We've been having a good time. Or at least I have. <laughs> Maybe you haven't, but I have. Okay, there's my wax. I have a couple different kinds. Um, sometimes I have it in my shop. If you guys want some, I can sure put it back. It might be sold out right now. I'm not sure, but I like yellow. I have some white, you know, whatever you want to use. So that's that. I got my regular old iron on. I printed out the Fussy Cuts Tsunami Rose all weekend long. The links are not in this video because I could not get anything to work quite obviously. But they're in the last like three videos I did. So you can find it if you need it but I printed off all these cuties. Let me move this. Printed off all those cuties and I inked them and everything except for a couple of these buttons. And I, let me see here now. Let me get organized. Okay, so I have all these and then I went to get my Tsunami Rose die cut flowers and I went to get my Tim Holsey stuff. And then I have my lace and my other stuff sitting over here. And my desk is kind of small. I need room for all this. Thankfully I have these pullouts. So that's good. So I'm gonna pull one out on each side. Okay, so then I got my lace and stuff over here. And then, so that I don't, I don't know, can you get an iron on silicone mat? I don't know. Do I have to worry? Let's just, I just don't know. All right, so let's see. It's going to be wax. So I guess I'm going to use a piece of cardstock down. And what I've done is, for the video, I just took cardstock, covered it with sewing paper, you know, the inserts to all that squishy stuff I used earlier. I backed it with coffee stain paper and sewed all around with pink thread. So now I have tags we can layer on. This will be fun. Um, so let's just do it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, I like this, and then I got, I like that paper, and then I, my husband just got these for me just now today. At a garage sale, and it has brown edges and everything. I'm excited, look at it. 
so we're going to use some of this. I don't know. If I can get it. There we go. We'll probably only just need one. I only got a few tags sitting here, so we will do this. And then we'll layer a piece of something, something. Let's just see how this goes, okay? So let me take, I don't know, these tags might be so big. I didn't cut out big stuff. Maybe I don't have the right stuff here. Let's see, here I got little stuff. So maybe we can do a couple little ones and just see how this works out. All right, so I got a couple thimbles here so we can use that for the, you know, so let's just see. I mean, I went through all that trouble of putting this kind of paper on, so I guess we'll just make it smaller. Right? And then I was just gonna put like a thimble on top. You know, something really simple. And that one's, you know, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to put cheesecloth and stuff, but I'm just seeing how this looks, you know, for size wise and stuff. So let's just see how it looks on here. Okay. I got three little thimbles. Those are cute. Okay. And then this one can go like that. This one can go right here. And this is a little one right there. We'll do it like that. Alright, so let's just check this out for a second. one could have a little button this one this one and this one could have a little button this one's kind of fat though so maybe it can have a little heart I don't know that's a these ones I was gonna use for the bigger ones I guess so I don't have very much small stuff either though so I want to put these on the bigger tags I didn't realize when I was doing this oh here's a thimble that would be cute it's small enough like this oh that's cute okay and then what do we think just a cheesecloth underneath this do you think we need one more layer of paper or do you think this is enough opinions opinions of course i'm here by myself <laughs> kind of hard to get opinions when nobody's here but that's okay because i'm gonna do what i want anyway you know me So I think I'll do blue behind this one because it's blue. That will be good because, you know, you got to give the wax something to have, you know. So I could put one more piece under this. I don't know exactly of what yet, but. And then I have white. I don't know where my pink is. I'll have to look. I got it somewhere here. We'll just layer it up. Like so. Okay. 
Let me see. Oops. I'm just trying to see. Oops. is doubled but I can't seem to get it apart with these giant nails I have maybe I'll get it here oh yeah I did now we're talking like this see you just set this up And then you just glue it and wax it. And it looks so cute. Let's try it. This is doubled up again. So I guess I could use a little glue. Didn't I just have it sitting here? It just poof, disappeared that quick, eh? Oh no, here it is. <laughs> I'll try some more blue. Here's a little button one right here. This is cute. And we'll just do that. It's probably too much. Cute enough. And then We'll set this one down too. And then this one and this one. There. Except I didn't do this one. Of course. But I like to use this blue because there's blue in the background in the paper. And I don't know. Let me know if you need me to close up or not. Cause I can zoom in there. How's that? That's cute. Okay. So even though you're waxing, you still have to glue because it doesn't actually work as like a glue until it's dry. So uh. It's clogged. It just had it sitting here for a minute. I have to go out in between videos and go on the treadmill. <laughs> and now my treadmill broke because I got it for free from the, you know, one of the neighbors. That's why they gave it to me. I should have known it's broken. So now I don't have a treadmill again. So now I gotta, I guess I'll just buy one because You know, I don't like going and getting junk and then I end up getting having to take it to the dump. So, now I'm mad, so. <laughs> now I'll just go buy one. Should I put another layer under or is that good enough? I think it'll be okay. I could do a piece of ribbon. Okay, we'll do that. But let's just do this first. We'll get this all down. And this is super good to, I didn't use like scraps for this, but it really is like the project to use up your scraps on, let me tell you what. Okay. Get a little ribbon here. I have sorry in my shop and seam mining both. If you need some, of 
Okay, and then this. These are fun. Just kind of a light wash of glue here. You don't have to do a ton because I am going to wax it, but like I said, you still need the glue for in the beginning here. I just love these little thimbles. They're just so cute. I love it. Okay, and then I can zoom in when I put the wax on. If y'all would like. So you can see the effect it gives. It's kind of fun. And it's another, you know, distressing technique that I like to use because it gets boring with the same old, you know, same old, same old. So it's fun to mix it up with a wax. Ooh, this is cute. I love it. Okay, last one. And then we'll wax this. And then we'll see if we can do the other tags, the bigger ones. I want to put a big piece on and a Tim Holtzy person. And then see what it looks like. All right, let's try it. Should I zoom in? Let me look. I mean, I guess we could. Let's just tilt this a little bit and zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better anyway. It always looks so dark in here. I don't know why. Seriously, I have four lights on. I don't even get it. Okay. Okie dokie. Here's the fun part. I love this blue one. And let's use these yellow ones. The dark yellow, I love it. And then I've used several different waxes, several different ways of doing it, several different irons you can go to. And those work really good for this. Otherwise, you can just use your regular iron like I am. But then, you know, anything you iron after that is going to have, you know, has a chance to have wax. <laughs> to have wax on it. Oh, I covered that whole thing in wax. And the beauty of it is after it's dry. So I'll come back and show you what they look like after it's dry and or I post the pictures in group, junk journal junkies, etc. So that's really fun to be able to come here, watch a couple videos, maybe get some inspiration, go make something of your own and then go post it in group and tag me. You know, it's fun for me to watch you guys, you know, make. And so it looks like oil right now, but it will look better when it's dry. And these are really melting big. Like I could use the littler pellets and be okay still too. Cause I don't like to do the whole tag like this one. It's fine, it, you know, but I just like to do a piece like it was dripped there or something, you know? by a candle or something. So these ones might be too big for this little tags, but it's fine. Cute. I love that. Cute. I think I want some more right here though. 
want this to get it kind of good right there. Down here a little. And you can pull it. Kind of direct it where you want it to go. Fun. Sometimes I come back and put two coats on because I want it nice and thick and waxy. Yeah. And I like it when you get thick right here because then it it's just fun, you know. It's just a fun thing to do. <laughs> I just want to whack something, right? I love it. So you can go to group later because I'll have pictures posted when it's done, how these look, you know, up close and stuff. Video, sometimes it's hard to tell, but it's, you know, just more like inspirational or whatever. Ooh, cute. Oh, I forgot we were gonna do ribbon. Shoot. Oh well, we can still do it. If I do ribbon right here though, what am I going to put in the tops? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> I guess we'll just do nothing. Because you got to have something over the top a little bit at least. You know. Something, something. Layer it up a little bit. Maybe not these little ones, but the big ones I could do the ribbon, I guess. But I was going to just put a little piece, you know. So I crunch up my white ribbon that I have in my shop, and then I just lay it on my pad and squish it around. I think this is cappuccino or something. There. And I'll just put some glue right here. Darn it. Because I forgot the dang ribbon. But it's okay. It doesn't even really need to be waxed, really. It's cute without it, but I will put some up here for kicks. Because it looks good all waxy. Ooh, I love it. I'll leave those three, but I'll put it on the next two. Because it'll be funner. We'll put one right here, and we'll just put a little bit right here, like this. And then we'll get a nice effect here. Nice. And this one will do the same. Crunch and hold method. All right, I love it. And we'll put one here, one here. We'll see if that's enough because these melt. There's a lot of wax for these ones. Oh yeah, plenty, oops, and then one got on there anyway, so this one's extra waxy, okay. Okay, it's all good. Except up here didn't get anything, so I better put another one up there. And wax some of that cheesecloth down. Cool, I love it. Now we'll do this one. Amazing. These are cute. All right, so we got six little, and I haven't decided if I'm even done with these yet. I'm gonna do the holes on the top, and I'll probably put 
maybe something something or I do have some words too. Maybe a little bit too big. So this might be okay just the way they are. If I put a hole in and some seam binding in here, it'll be cute. Let's just do one. I have, um, sorry too, if you need some. Here, let's do a cream color. Yeah. My iron's over here smoking. <laughs> okay. Waxing fabric is really fun too, so. Ouch. We'll do this. Give it a little age, and then we'll put a little seam binding in there. And this will be cute. Then you can hang out. bald pin from here if you want to with some buttons that will be cute let's just use the blue since we're doing blue or we could use white white pink one we'll just use that and that'll be cute enough cute enough then we'll just hang that right here oh this is adorable actually <laughs> oh that's cute I like it these are very cute um, how many of these do I got I don't know but very cute Okay, so I'm gonna do that to the rest of these. I don't have to do it right now though, but I'm gonna cut the holes so I don't forget. We will layer the next ones here and wax the next ones. I can do this off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I need eight. Oh well. We'll do that, and then the big ones are right here. So I was gonna go kinda basically the same thing. Oh, this has got the kids stuff on it. I was gonna do something different with these two. We'll see. All right, so this was kind of basically going to be the same thing. So let's just do, let's do um, some of this stuff. If you need lace panels, they're in my shop if you need some. And then when I cut lace so that it's, it doesn't look like this, I go like this and I get it ratty. And I cut it up like this so it has an edge. You know, we just want a little piece, you know, you don't need a, I just go like this and get it all messed up. See, that's how I do it. Okay. And we're going to wax these. So we could do it like this. And then, <clears throat> what was I going to use? I have the iron. And then I was going to do, um, Tim Holtzy girl. I glazed her. But I don't exactly know how I was going to do it yet. Ex 
exactly. I can, I don't even know if I like this color. Maybe not, but I was going to try something here. Or even if it's a face, but maybe they won't go together. If you have two focal points, sometimes it doesn't work. But I was thinking it might. Maybe not. I can't ever seem to get these to go right sometimes. Here's the lady. Like, I want her and I want the iron like that. Is that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> can't get it. So, we'll forget the Tim Holtzies then. All right, so we'll just use this because I like to do um, fabric waxing as well. It's kind of fun. So let's grab a piece of this because this will be great and it's pink. That'll work. Just another long piece like this. Oops. Right. And then the iron will go there. And then let's get a little piece here. Ouch. I burn myself. And I'll put this under here. And we'll put the iron right there. That'll be cute. And then maybe I could put one of the words. One of the words on this one, like you know, muslin or something. This is about ironing, but but it's fine. That might be okay, huh? One of these on here? I don't know. We'll see. I thought I had everything ready, but you know how it goes. Sometimes Sometimes it just don't go together right. <clears throat> oh yeah, running stitch would be cute. Maybe at the top. Or tucked in here like this. Have this down here. Hanging off the edge. Put the iron in here. And maybe we can tuck it in like that. But this is cute. And then, all right, so let's glue. She's got to have a little glue to hold it all down. Let's do it. Okay, that's cute. Then we'll have this hanging off a little bit. this and then this I want underneath the iron so let's have it right there okay we're doing it up here and then this goes down here Kind of hanging off the edge a little bit. Right? And then this is going to go right there. We could even use my last trim if we want, but I think there's enough layers behind. There's three, and the paper is four. So that's good for that. And then we'll put something on the top. I heard somebody got shot in tone or somewhere around here today. Mm. I don't know. I'm doing a video. Lauren? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Okay. Yep. I didn't hear you, so I didn't know. It's okay. We're just waxing. Mm. <laughs> 
We're waxing, see? Cute, cute. Yeah. We got blackberries, so Sean's out there watching, making sure we get them and not the birdies, huh? Of course, we have so many berries around. Mm -hmm. I don't think. We have to worry. Mm -hmm. A kitty? Oh, really? Ah, kitty. Oh, good. Is it Max? No, oh. the other one. Oh, okay. We have several cats in the neighborhood, so. And then I just put a little seam binding right there in the front of the iron, just so it, I guess I could have put it in the back too, but it's fine. And then we'll cut the top. Yeah. 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 He's hunting. Yeah. That's nice, honey. I like it when you come in here with me. Mm-hmm. How about this? That's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah. Is that okay like that? Mm -hmm. I'm getting it. Or should I just do it like this? <laughs> I sometimes don't know what to do. And if I put too much behind it, it's going to look like two focal points. So I'm just going to do this just like it is and hope for the best. It's nice, honey. Yeah. yeah. I like it. This is so cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Working. I could so right down here. Hey, I love how it feels good, baby. Yeah, this is doing. yeah. Don't this leave me yet. Hmm? You miss this video? Miss video? Yeah, this is like my third one today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They did it. Yeah. I'm trying to put wax on here. Dumb stuff on TV? We'll find something. When I get done, we can watch. We can watch a movie or something. I would like to find something good. Okay. I'll look in a minute. Okay. Go outside one more time. Okay. I think I want one right here, too. There's a lot of stuff right there. And right here. Let's see. So cute. I like it. And then I guess we could use pink, or is it too much pink? Pink, pink, more pink. It's sickening, I know. Otherwise, I can use the cream. Just have a hint of pink. Is that more grown up or more acceptable? I know some people don't like pink, but I'm a pink lover. But if you put too much, then it gets kind of sickening, right? So if we just hint at it, then this is cute. How about that? And then I could hint again with a pink gold pen. Oh, we got to do it. And we'll find a little button in here. 
how about we do whatever falls out here, yellow. This one's too big, but that would be fun. Would it work? No. <laughs> but we'll do a cute little yellow one with the pink. That's cute. Oh, these are cute. Here. I love it. Super adorable. Okay. Let's get the next one. This one. If you need some lace panels, they're in the shop if you need some. These kind that are the ugly kind. I mean, not the ugly kind, but you know, the curtains and the yucky stuff that's not like the prettiest. It's great for this kind of stuff, you know? get a background piece going see with the shaggy cutting so let's just do it up here kind of a light blue there and we'll just do that cuteness and then we'll layer a little pink on for some color I got a light pink and a dark pink we could use the light one this time. But I like to have a lacy lace, and then I like to have a chunky lace. Chunky is always my favorite, but it looks the best when it's mixed with the light pretty one. There, C. And then what do we got here? this little hearty thing I guess this is Daisy Collins stuff I've been using all day long and then seriously my video is 42 minutes already oh my god okay I gotta get out of here otherwise they never get watched when they get this long <laughs> god dang it okay I'm trying to hurry let me get this on. And I'll put this other one down here to hang off. Then we'll put the little hearty on there. It'll be so cute. I can't believe it's been 42 minutes already. Oh my gosh. It just kills me every time. I must like to go on and on. <laughs> I, I must like to go on and on about stuff. Where is the chat? Sorry, you guys. I don't know if you're saying anything to me or not, but... I appreciate the thumbs up. That's like a recommendation to help my videos get watched. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, let's wax this baby. But I need a little bit of seam binding here to give it some dimension in the front. So everything's not just behind. We'll put a little bit of something, something right there. There. Cute enough for me. All right, so we'll put couple waxes here and we'll put one over here put one right here and I gotta put one up top let's just see how that looks See how this one looks. All right. 
mine froze, so I was making sure my camera didn't freeze. It'd be the greatest video on earth. <laughs> Cute. I love these. I still need some more up here, though. I'm just saying. Because the paper is still dry for Pete's sakes. There. Now we're talking. Okay. Let's look at a couple of these up close. And then... I didn't even see you guys talking to me. I'm so sorry. I'll answer after, okay? Here's this one. This one's cute. What the heck did I do with the other ones? <laughs> the other ones. Oh, here they are. These look better as they dry, see? I know, I have to get it out here in the light. Look at how cute this one is. Aww. You can see it. Cute. I love this blue one. So... These are cute. So thanks for hanging out with me again. Look how cute these are. I'm going to finish up with pins and buttons. And and tomorrow we'll get to decorating our little needle books we're making these for. Okay? See you later. Bye.